Hello boys and girls. Today's lesson is about citing our Google Images. So often it is so easy for us to go into Google Images and borrow a picture. That leads us to the discussion of borrowing and stealing. Very similar. Stealing is a scary word. Borrowing is taking something with permission. Stealing is taking something without permission. So when we so-called borrow a picture from Google and we don't give it proper credit, it's kind of like stealing. There's a word for that. It's called plagiarism. So we want to be very careful when we do borrow some pictures from Google Images that we get proper credit from where we got them from. And many of us just think, well, I got it from Google. Well, actually, Google is just a representative in storing their picture for you to look at, but it actually has a source outside of Google. I'm going to show you how to get to that source and how to cite your pictures when you're borrowing them. To do that today, we're going to go into Google Images. We're going to pull up an image that interests us, maybe of an animal. I think we'll start there. Then we're going to take that image and put it into our media journal, creating a new page. And in our media journal, we're going to make sure that we properly cite where we got that picture from. So let's begin. The first thing we do to get a Google image typically is open up a new tab. And then it gives you the option in the upper right hand corner to click on images. That narrows your search to just images through Google. I'm going to look for an image of a giraffe. And I'm going to press go to. Oh, so many cute pictures to choose from. I'm going to choose this one. Once I'm in that, it says right here, interpretation of a dream in which you, but it gives me an option to visit the page that the image originated from. So I'm going to click on visit page. And this image came from globeviews.com. So I'm going to make sure that I give that proper site. So I'm going to simply click on this, double click to copy it, to put it out on my clipboard. So I have it stored there. Then I'm going to open up a new tab. And then I'm going to open up my media journal by going into the waffle, which is also the apps, in the triangle, which is our drive. And double clicking on your media journal to open it. Mine's taking a moment to load this morning. Here's my media journal. I'm going to double click on it to open it. Last week I did a lot of samples, so there's a lot of slides that are unfinished on my media journal. I'm going to quickly go in and delete those. Remember, if you click on them, then press backspace or delete. You can get rid of unwanted slides and just about anything in Google Slides. Okay, to add a new image or a new slide in your media journal, there's a shortcut to do that right here where the plus sign is. If you click on the pull down arrow next to it, you can add the type of layout of the slide that you want. I think for this purposes, I'm going to do title and body. Once I'm in, I'm going to title this citing a Google image. Now right away, I'm going to get that website that I copied out on my clipboard and put it in. By doing that, to do that, I can click Control V to paste. There it is. Now I know that that is the website that my image came from. That's one thing that you definitely want on your slide. I'm going to make that a little smaller. The other thing I think that you would want on your slide is your image. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to press the back arrow to see if I can get my image to re. Here he is. Oh, he's so cute. 
to get my image into my media journal. I'm going to click on them and I'm going to drag them up and I'm going to drop them down. So now I have my image on there. I'm going to make them a little bigger. I have the website which it came from. But that's not all you need to do when you're citing an image. They suggest that the image doesn't really have a title itself, but you need to describe the image in a few words along with the website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few spaces here in this text box. I'm going to click on the edge of the text box and make my font much smaller so I have room to change it. Okay, and I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to put your own description, a picture, what the picture is. And I'm going to put cute giraffe. Digital image. Now, if you can find the date that the image was published, it's helpful to have that in there. But I did not see a date. Let's go back in and see if we see a date. I'm going to toggle back in, go back to the website, see if there's a date that that image was published. And we really don't have a date. It's just a general website, I think, about giraffes. And that picture must be down in a lower area. So since we don't have a date, we are going to put in the date that you saw the image. So I'm going to put March 23rd, 2015, image captured from, and then the website. So now I feel like I have not just stole the image, I have actually borrowed it because I have cited it. So boys and girls, you're going to have some fun with this today. Like I said, let's stick to just animals today, and let's find some animals in Google Images, bring one into your media journal and make sure that you cite it. Now your citation can be quite a bit smaller, so I could actually even make this a 10 or an 8. You also want to jazz up your page by changing the font, changing the color of the font, which we've practiced many times, and maybe adding a background. To add a background, make sure that you're clicked in a white space. Click on background, and you can change the color. It looks like I've used that color a lot. I'm going to pick a different color. Maybe an orangey color to go with my giraffe. There. That looks nice. So remember, when you're borrowing a picture from Google Images, you have to make sure that you do give it proper citation, just like you would a quote or anything else when you're doing a report. Because if you don't, that is a form of plagiarism. And we do not want to take other people's work without granting them the proper credit. Have fun, boys and girls, and enjoy the lesson.